Hey friends, welcome to Night Graphics. In this video, we are going to work with mosaic function of Adobe Illustrator. We'll start working with this background grid, then this mosaic path symbol, and finally some light work here to complete this design. So let's start with it now. First of all, turn off this align art to pixel grid button and make sure that smart guides option is on. Okay, pick the rectangle tool now and draw an artboard size rectangle. Remove its stroke and change the fill color to black. And now lock this rectangle. Now pick line segment tool. Come here at this point. Press shift key and draw a straight line along with the border of the artboard up to this point. Set the stroke weight to one point. And for its color, come to color panel. Activate the stroke. Open edges by options and dial 200 for hue, 80 for saturation and 90 for brightness. Now with this selected, double click the selection tool to get this move dialog box and here enter 40 for horizontal value, 0 for vertical and press copy. Now press ctrl D to repeat the last move action and keep on repeating until you reach up to this bottom. Again pick the line segment tool, holding shift key draw a line along with this horizontal border of the artboard up to this point. Now double click the selection tool once again. This time change this horizontal value to 0 and enter 40 here for vertical value and press copy. Press ctrl D to repeat this movement until you reach up to this border. Now select all these lines and make them a group. Open effect menu now. Here blur and Gaussian blur. Set this radius to 3. Alright. Now come to layers panel. Lock this layer and name it background. Now create a new layer and name it mosaic. For now, I'm going to hide this background layer. Now we'll make a guide for drawing the bat symbol. For this, pick line segment tool and draw a straight line through the center of the artboard. Now come to view menu, guides and choose make guides. Come again to guides menu and lock the guides. Now we'll draw the bat symbol. Pick pen tool and start drawing with me. Actually, it's a bit tricky thing to draw and in case you find it difficult to draw, just check out the description of this video. I have provided the download link of an illustrator file there in which I have drawn this complete bat symbol. You may use that file, but make sure you follow the instructions mentioned therein. Let me also mention here that in case you want to be perfect with the pen tool, we have detailed lectures on it in our playlist. You can get the links of these tutorials here and also in the description of this video and feel free to ask any queries about it. We'll be glad to help. Now if you are drawing with me, finally click here and press escape key to end drawing this path. Select this path and now click on this reflect tool. Okay. With Alt key pressed, click anywhere over this guideline to set that point as access point. Select vertical here and press copy. Now select both these paths and press Ctrl J to join them and make them one shape. Now we don't need this guideline, so just clear the guides from here. Now we'll give a fill to the shape. Now click here to swap the color of stroke as fill color. Okay. Now we'll convert this shape into mosaic. 
For that, we firstly need to convert this vector shape into a bitmap image. Keep it selected, open the object menu and select rasterize. Here keep the color mode to RGB, set the resolution value to 300 ppi, keep these other values as such and press OK. So here we have our rasterized shape. Now one thing to notice here is that this white area around the shape is not transparent. The process of rasterizing any shape creates a rectangular bounding box around that shape and fills the blank areas with white color. This will cause a little hassle when we'll convert it into mosaic, but no worries, we can treat it easily. All right, now come to object menu and click here on create object mosaic. Here under number of tiles, enter 164 width and press this use ratio button to get the proportionate value for height. Here for tile spacing, enter two pixels for both width and height. Check this delete raster button here. Now, in case you want to learn everything about this dialog box and the overall mosaic function, I have uploaded a video on this topic explaining all options of this dialog box and other details of mosaic function. You can find the link of that tutorial in description of this video or click here to check that tutorial. Now we are done with the inputs here. So press OK. Let me just deselect it so that you can see the mosaic that is created here. Turn on this black background to get the complete picture. Now see this. Now as I told you earlier, the process of rasterizing a shape creates a white background and these white tiles are the result of it. And obviously we don't need them, so let's remove them first. It's a pretty simple job however. Click on it to select. It's a group, so ungroup it first. Now deselect it and select just one of these white tiles. Now press this button of select similar objects. All the white tiles have been selected here. Delete all of them. Perfect. Now we are left with the shape we want. Let's give this mosaic a fancy look. Select all the tiles. Come to effect menu. Click convert to shape and select clips. Select relative here and enter 0 for both these options for extra width and height. Now it's looking cool. Now finally, let's add some lights to this artwork. Pick polygon tool. Come over the point where you see this intersect mark and draw a hexagon like this. The stroke is nil. Keep it as such and for its color, open gradient panel. Activate the fill color and click here to apply this default black and white gradient. Select the type to radial. Now open this transparency panel and set the blending mode to color dodge. Let's draw another hexagon here. This time a little smaller. Change the blending mode to color dodge and last one over here. Change the blending mode to color dodge again and here we are. Our mosaic art with some special effects is ready. Hope you find it good. Share your reviews, your queries by writing in the comment section below. Thanks for your time. See you in the next tutorial.